Hello, everyone. Today, we will talk about uh, MySQL and uh, MariaDB and how those two wonderful databases are different. There is not a lot of uh, time, so I will provide uh, mostly high-level uh, comparison. And as a little bonus, I will cover some of the features which excite me in their MariaDB 10.7. At the time of this recording, it is a release candidate. Chances are it will be already released by the time uh, this goes live. But well, I wanted to be fair. And in both cases, the release, they talk about the latest GA or stable versions of a database software. The first thing I want to highlight is what uh, MariaDB is not uh, MySQL. Uh, right. Uh, while MariaDB and MySQL, they started from the same roots, same code base, they really have diverged a lot, both uh, in their functionality as well as release uh, philosophy. Well, that's what uh, years uh, do. Now, as I compare those, uh, I probably will be seen as an equal opportunity offender. In certain cases, there's probably going to be things I say which will not be considered fair by even MySQL or MariaDB communities, but well, uh, uh, that's uh, life. Let's start by looking at the development model between those uh, databases. If you look at the MySQL, it is developed by Oracle Cor Corporation. Contributions are accepted, right? It is not impossible to contribute to Oracle uh, Percona, for example, contributed some uh, patches to uh, MySQL. Uh, but at the same time, uh, the open source development is really happens as a dropship open source. At some unknown point in time, you just have uh, a release uh, of uh, source code and binaries for community release are uh, made available. In MariaDB, situation is different. This MariaDB server is released by a uh, nonprofit MariaDB Foundation, uh, which really encourages uh, contributions not to accept them. And there are a lot of development which are done in the public, both online as well as there are a number of uh, uh, events when it's not a pandemic, especially going on, which you can attend and contribute to the uh, roadmap. At the same time, you can think a lot of development uh, and uh, through that the roadmap are driven by uh, MariaDB uh, Corporation uh, in, uh, my square, uh, in MariaDB case. So what is MariaDB Foundation? Well, that is uh, really what I uh, uh, picked up directly from uh, uh, the website. And you can see what uh, the interesting thing I find about MariaDB Foundation, it's uh, what it really mm, focuses a lot uh, on the MariaDB server, not so much about the, all the ecosystem at, uh, around MariaDB. That is something which I probably would uh, uh, like to see kind of more, uh, uh, more broad. What I think is interesting uh, uh, in this case is what we have a MariaDB Corporation and MariaDB Foundation, which are uh, kind of uh, uh, have relatively complicated relationship, right? And as you might see from my slides, I scratch the super world because frankly, I think what we are getting some of a less complicated relationship uh, as the time, uh, time goes. Like, as I mentioned, my uh, MariaDB Foundation is about serving MariaDB community, which develops the open source, where MariaDB Corporation is a venture-funded uh, for-profit uh, corporation, which builds proprietary solutions around MariaDB, both as an enterprise on great performance, as well as database as a service called, uh, uh, called uh, uh, SkySQL. So where is complexity? Well, you can see what MariaDB Foundation is responsible for MariaDB server. However, if you want to run the database, you don't need just the server, you need more. And number of connect uh, things uh, like connectors, for example, or their uh, or the, you know, proxy for connection management 
are owned by MariaDB Corporation and they can be uh, released under a variety of licenses. For example, the max scale itself is not uh, uh, even uh, open source. In the past, we also have Docker builds that are uh, maintained by uh, MariaDB uh, Corporation, but I'm uh, glad to see what that was removed and now MariaDB uh, Docker library builds are maintained by uh, MariaDB Foundation, right? Makes it kind of much more clean what all community builds a MariaDB uh, uh, Foundation. Another thing which is kind of, uh, I, th I think is uh, messy is what, uh, while MariaDB knowledge base is something where communities encourage contribute and contribute a lot, it is actually hosted by MariaDB Corporation and is used as a uh, lead generation for that uh, commercial uh, entity. There are some more confusing relationship as I see, like for example, if you go ahead and you download stuff from MariaDB.org, um, uh, independent non-profit, and then you wait for a little bit and then you are redirected to MariaDB.com, then you are encouraged to create an ID with MariaDB Corporation, right? Which then may go back and share some information with MariaDB Foundation, right? It's kind of, uh, you know, confusing, but of course it is uh, also uh, understandable, uh, right? Now, if you ask me uh, if I think uh, it's uh, fair, I would say this is kind of real how the life works. The MariaDB Corporation in bias by far, as I know, biggest sponsor of uh, MariaDB Foundation and especially biggest contributor to MariaDB development. And of course, they want uh, some return for that investment. And uh, MariaDB mm, providing leads to that, uh, for, uh, the MariaDB.org providing leads to MariaDB Corporation, well, it's just how the world works. Now let's look at what is particular open source in MySQL and MariaDB. Because we know those days when you talk about open source software, typically that means only some portions are open source. The MySQL uses rather uh, simple open core model for everything they distribute, right? You have the community version of a whole platform, and then there is an enterprise version which has a commercial license plugins and tools such as MySQL Enterprise Monitor. If you take it to the cloud, well, mm, that becomes a different uh, uh, story. If you look at MariaDB, the MariaDB server is completely open source, uh, including all the plugins, but there are some other parts which are not. For example, max scale is uh, only licensed after BSL, uh, BSL uh, license, right? MariaDB server is also something uh, which is quite uh, interesting, right? Because MariaDB server is based on a MySQL uh, source code, which is GPL, it cannot be proprietary. But if you go to mariadb.com website and say, hey, where do I download from sur uh, the sources from uh, for MariaDB server, you would not be, uh, it wouldn't be easy to, uh, to find them. And this is actually totally in line with the GPL requirements because it only says what you should uh, distribute the source code to the customers right, under the GPL license, and the customers may even redistribute them, but you do not really have to have a, a GPL code to uh, be available for those who you don't distribute the, uh, the software to. And then there is also expand storage software, which is uh, Clustrix, which is uh, proprietary uh, all uh, together. Another interesting relationship here is uh, how do open source and enterprise version uh, play out? In the MySQL, enterprise version is complete superset of MySQL community. Everything in the enterprise exists in community and also aligned release schedule. Enterprise and community ship the same day. In MariaDB, the enterprise server is kind of extended subset of community. There are certain community features 
which are not included in the enterprise because they're not considered mature or uh, robust enough. And also the fact there is a different life, si uh, life cycle, their enterprise and community versions, mm, uh, versions go, mm, J. The cloud native or Kubernetes uh, situation is also rather interesting, right? I mean, you can uh, uh, read this slide uh, at your pleasure. I just want to say what have been, been kind of a twisted road in uh, getting MariaDB available on the Kubernetes as official solution. I am pleased to see what right now there is a project started by MariaDB Foundation to create official uh, open source uh, uh, Kubernetes uh, operator for MariaDB. It seems like it's in an early stage right now, but I am very excited to see it uh, when it's uh, going to happen. Database servers. Well, not a big surprise. Database is a big fan uh, of uh, database deployments those days. Both MySQL and MariaDB, especially community versions, are available from a variety of the clouds, from major clouds. Now, what I think is uh, interesting here is if you look at uh, uh, Amazon Aurora, so far, uh, they uh, seems to only provide Aurora version for MySQL, not, uh, uh, and for Postgres, right, but not for, uh, for MariaDB. Now, both MariaDB and Oracle, which are the kind of commercial vendors beside, behind MySQL and MariaDB, they provide the enterprise versions uh, of uh, their respected uh, software. And also MariaDB has uh, a deal with Alibaba Cloud to offer enterprise version through, uh, through a partnership. When it comes to analytics, we also have a different uh, approaches here. If you look at MariaDB, there is a MariaDB column store, storage engine, which is available in MariaDB 10.5 and above as an open source. There is also MariaDB enterprise uh, column store, which is a part of the MariaDB mm, enterprise uh, uh, the, uh, su subscription. In the MySQL case, uh, the Oracle choose entirely different path altogether. There is a MySQL analytics service uh, called the Heatwave, which is available if you're running MySQL in Oracle Cloud. If you're running it on-prem, well, you are out of luck. And I think that is kind of uh, shows this Oracle focus, what we are really uh, looking to, uh, to create more reasons for you to specifically uh, go to the cloud and may give us some ideas uh, what may to come next. What is the focus for those databases? MariaDB initially competed with MySQL on features, right? But uh, now a lot of focus have changed, I think, on uh, uh, really compatibility, right? With uh, Oracle and Microsoft uh, SQL Server, as well as I think MariaDB has done a lot of uh, good work those days for targeting unique needs of uh, uh, sysadmins and DBAs, not just uh, developers, right? There is a lot of those kind of little neat things in MySQL, like, hey, when you start uh, uh, MariaDB, right, you will have uh, the service control kind of colored, uh, right, in terms of what is an error message and uh, what is not, which is, uh, I think, uh, very, uh, uh, very neat and uh, really can really give you much better usability if you are uh, in offsite. I also really like uh, some focus on the cloud in the integration, especially S3 uh, storage engine. And I think that is a kind of very wise uh, uh, choice for MariaDB because with S3 being kind of a AWS solution, Oracle is not very likely to, for, to follow. Where MySQL had a lot of focus of traditional use cases. They also worked on improving uh, uh, SQL support. A lot of their focus has been on uh, developers like DocScore, Store, JSON, MySQL, Shell, and uh, so on and so forth. And really, uh, they are not focused on advanced uh, 
Oracle and other database features at all. Now, it is hard for me to say whether that is because the customers are not, are not asking or because MySQL uh, kind of, uh, or the or Oracle doesn't really want to have MySQL to be really direct Oracle competitor. Well, there may be uh, parts of uh, both of those. Let's look at the architecture approach for databases. MySQL has been really refactoring a lot of uh, old uh, uh, code base. And now uh, the MySQL 8 uh, really has mm, uh, uh, been released with a lot of uh, different uh, archi uh, architecture choices. The really MariaDB was uh, pushing the old code base before MySQL ways further and further. And really prioritizing a lot of choice and flexibility. Their MySQL approach has been, well, MySQL is in the DB, right? Uh, their uh, MariaDB really have been embracing more different uh, storage engines. Let's look at release frequency. That I think is another uh, interesting thing, right? If you look uh, uh, at those releases for the last few years, you can see what uh, major releases for MariaDB come a lot uh, more frequently. For MySQL, the last major release, MySQL 8, well, uh, 8 was about four years ago, and we don't have any signs what uh, uh, MySQL 9 or 8.1 is uh, coming anytime time soon. Then MariaDB was released uh, uh, much more frequently. And what is also uh, interesting in the release uh, policy here, is what uh, MariaDB was kind of always following sort of classical MySQL release focus where you have a stable release and then kind of minor bug fix releases. Where MySQL took with MySQL 8 as a kind of evergreen release where you just introduce a lot of bug fixes and features in those uh, releases. And to the point, you cannot even do minor downgrades, right? I mean, I know some people in MySQL ecosystem are really kind of pissed off about what there is kind of not that safety very light in MySQL ecosystems for years. There is another change coming though. Uh, MariaDB is a, a really uh, takes it to another uh, notch and looks to introduce the features uh, uh, faster. So now we will see on one uh, side where uh, kind of uh, you are going to get the new releases every quarter, but with some uh, minor bug fixes releases applied to those releases, as well as long-term LTS support uh, releases every couple of years or so. We are still kind of yet to see how this uh, work, uh, work out, but I think uh, uh, if Maridio can make it work uh, right, that is a very interesting model to both uh, drive uh, innovation fast and uh, avoid uh, the problems. Some other uh, differences, uh, what we uh, can see here, of a client protocol, MariaDB took classic MySQL protocol and built extensions for uh, progress uh, reporting, for example, their MySQL supports both classic MySQL protocol as well as X protocol. New protocol which can speak SQL and no uh, no SQL together. Again, you can see the different philosophy where MariaDB extends what's good already, and uh, MySQL just saying, "Hey, you know what? Let us redesign something from uh, uh, from scratch." Uh, right. So, uh, if you look at their uh, interface support. Uh, MySQL uh, support uh, uh, SQL, DocStore, and even Memcached protocol where MariaDB is SQL as well as Handler Sockets, which is kind of uh, the old protocol which I have not heard about uh, in a while. And this kind of uh, shows, I think, an interesting challenge MariaDB has is about killing off the stuff which is not needed anymore, right? Or, which is just, you know, uh, uh, outdated. JSON support. Here, MariaDB 
and MySQL took a different choices too. In a MariaDB case, JSON text is stored. Marie, MySQL chose to implement kind of more complicated native JSON um, and data type, which allowed to do some cool things. For example, efficient partial uh, updates. At the same time, for a lot of other things like JSON table, MariaDB has been um, catching up with MySQL a lot. It is the JSON shortcuts, though, is, I think, where we have still some, uh, some gap in comparability. In terms of replication, again, we have a substantial difference here. The MySQL uh, implemented the uh, uh, MySQL group replication for kind of clustering, has its own GTID, has a kind of clone plugin, which is built for efficient uh, uh, provisioning there. MariaDB uh, has its own uh, GTID, which is not compatible with MySQL, and uh, Galera replication for semi-synchronous uh, replication is cluster, which is different. At the same time, a lot of other basic uh, features, you know, such as multi-source replication and so on and so, so forth, right, is available both in MySQL and MariaDB, and uh, MariaDB uh, kept general uh, parity. In terms of uh, SQL standard comparability, as I mentioned, that is where MariaDB invested a lot, and it has uh, uh, much more stuff which MySQL uh, doesn't have. Security, that is another uh, thing, which is, kind of, which is where both databases took a lot of uh, different approach, right? And if you think about how exactly permissions, users' roles, authentication works in MySQL and MariaDB, I would suggest you to take a closer look because it is similar in many cases, but there is a devil in details. And in security, you absolutely need to know uh, details. Some of the cool uh, things in MySQL 8, which are kind of come in the recent releases in security, which I think is uh, something MariaDB may need to look at. Things like uh, dual password, reloading TLS context without restart, Dynamic privileges, right? I think that is especially a feature which is focused on developers building plugins for the database as well as uh, uh, password uh, policies. Optimizer. That is another area which I would want to pay you a special attention because the optimizer is something which is diverged a lot. And uh, you just should uh, assume what there is a chance what the queries may be executed differently on, on MariaDB or MySQL. Both of the databases, if you talk to developers, can say, hey, look at this query. It runs uh, a lot better on our database compared to theirs. Well, but as a user, you just have to assume what so if you're planning to move one way or another, some of your queries uh, may uh, break. MySQL comparability. MariaDB, I think, is doing a very good job picking up the most important innovations from, uh, uh, from MySQL, right? And in many cases, that can be done as part of the code. This kind of goes the same uh, the other way again, but the Oracle, because we need to maintain the full copyright of a database, they tend to borrow ideas and re-implement the code instead of just uh, uh, taking the code. And here are just some of their example of uh, uh, recent developers which were introduced for MariaDB comparability. Finally, I promise you to mention some stuff which excites me in uh, MariaDB um, uh, 10, uh, 7. So well, again, MariaDB is still a release candidate, not a, uh, not a preview, right? So uh, this is kind of uh, more than early impressions, but still, uh, it's not GA yet. I'm very excited about UID data type, right? I was kind of very surprised MySQL ecosystem didn't have it for so long. Excited about the work at the JSON and specifically JSON histograms or table statistics, right? To really get more fidelity of statistics and more features for in the future. I think this is very cool. Well, that's uh, all I have and I hope you enjoy my talk. Thank you.